Hi. In our previous video, we compared the VOD50's power amp to two different 6L6 power amps. Well, in fact, it was just one 6L6 power amp with a negative feedback switch. And it was the power amp in this amp behind me. It's a 50 watt amp with big transformers, so it can compete with the VOD50 in terms of transient response and bass response. Now, here are the results of the comparison video. Amp A was the 6L6 amp without negative feedback. Amp B was the 6L6 amp with negative feedback, and Amp C was the VOD50. If you got that right, well done. Now there was a pretty big difference between A and B, which demonstrates that negative feedback has a big impact on tone. Um, before we delve further into what those tonal differences really are, uh, let me just explain what negative feedback is. So a simple amp with no negative feedback is just really a gain block with a, a, f a constant multiplier, let's call it alpha. So your output signal is alpha times the input signal. Now, when you add negative feedback, what, what you do is you take a fraction of the output signal and you subtract it from the input signal. So now your output signal is alpha times the input signal minus the fraction of the output signal. So you get a simple equation like this. So now if you rearrange the, and collect the uh, sigma out term, you get this very simple gain equation for a negative feedback amplifier. So you can see that the gain has been reduced by a factor of one plus alpha beta. And that one plus alpha beta is the amount of negative feedback in the circuit. So let's look at an example now. So Consider an amplifier with gain of 26 and we're taking um, one tenth of the output and subtracting it from the input. So alpha is 26, that's 28 dB, um, beta is 1 over 10. Your negative feedback is 1 plus alpha beta, which in this case is 3.6 and that's about 11 dB. Uh, the gain is then 28 dB minus 11 dB and that's 17 dB. Now I haven't chosen those numbers at random. Those numbers correspond to this amplifier here. So now we know what negative feedback is, let's see what the effects of it are so we can understand why you'd want to use it in a valve power amp. So the, the primary effect of negative feedback is that it reduces gain. But there are other ways of reducing gain. You know, you could just turn the volume down. So that's not really why we use negative feedback in a valve power amp. Um, the second effect is that it decreases distortion. I mean, you can go and listen to the, if you haven't already, or, or even if you have, maybe go back and listen to the sound samples. Can you hear um, less distortion in the sample with negative feedback? Um, I don't think it's a big effect. Let's look at the next one. Um, it increases bandwidth. Well, technically that's true. It does increase bandwidth, but you'd have to have a very cheap output transformer to actually hear that effect. And it's not a major thing. It's definitely masked by the last point that it decreases output impedance. And that is really the main effect of negative feedback as far as it impacts your tone and also why you would use it in a guitar power amp. So let's see exactly what it does to your tone. Let's look at the frequency response graph of the Jensen Tornado 100, which is the stock speaker in the VOD50 combo. You've got the sound pressure in red and the impedance in blue. Now it says at one watt, one M. So the one M is one meter. So you've, you put a microphone one meter from the cone. And, but the one watt is a little bit misleading here because it's not the case that you, you sweep your frequency range with one watt being dissipated in the speaker at every point. That's not what's happening here. What you actually do is you fix a voltage between the speaker terminals and then you do the sweep. And that's what, how you get this graph. You choose that voltage so that one watt is dissipated into the nominal impedance, which in this case is eight ohms. Now you only, your speaker only measures 8 ohms at 
around 300 hertz in this case. It's the flat uh, point on this curve, on the blue curve. So the frequency response curve applies to a voltage source. An amp with low output impedance, such as one with a lot of negative feedback, will approximate a voltage source and the frequency response will more or less follow the graph. But when you remove the negative feedback, the frequency response actually gets modulated by the impedance curve. So the sound will get scooped around 300 Hz. And this is what you can hear in the sound samples. Here's a graph of the actual frequency response of the output of our 6L6 amp. The purple curve is the one with no negative feedback and it's a much more scooped response than the uh, yellow one, which is, it's not quite flat because a valve amp always has some output impedance, it's never zero. So it does have a bit of a scoop as well, but the purple one is quite substantial. One thing to note is there's a difference between scooping your mids in the preamp using passive components like resistors and capacitors, which for example, Fender do in their blackface tone stack. It's quite a scooped sound, but all that scoopage comes from the preamp. Whereas the, um, you know, something like a Tweed Deluxe has a flat preamp and, and gets its scoopage from the power amp impedance. So that's one of the reasons why the bass is, sounds a bit different. So the VOD50 was Amp C in our comparison video, and it sounded somewhere between Amp A and Amp B to my ears at least. And that's because it's been voiced to sound like it has about 6 dB of negative feedback. So that's somewhere in between 0 and 11 dB, which was Amp A and Amp B, right? Um, and when we compared the VOD50 to the Marshall EL34 power amp, um, that amp has 5 dB of negative feedback. So it sounded pretty close to that, as you would expect it to, you know. Now I haven't talked about the effect of negative feedback on clipping, because it simply isn't relevant in high-powered amps like the ones we've been using. Um, it will be relevant in a low-powered amp where you drive the power stage into, into overdrive. Um, and, you know, that might be a, a subject of a future video. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Um, check me out on Instagram at Rajani Amps. Check me out online at RajaniAmps.com. And um, subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you next time.